Well, most of general music reading, um, knowing how to read this treble clef, treble clef, and bass clef, probably uh, might be enough, right? However, you should know and at least learn how to read C clefs since they're pretty standard and common in um, professional music world, especially in chamber music setting or um, orchestra setting. So C clef, it means it's movable. It's movable clef. It moves around. And this is how it looks like. There are two ways. So with two lines, some people draw it like B, or with two lines, some people draw it like K. And wherever the C clef is located, this middle point right here, this middle point, where it's indented between two curved lines, right, are going to be C those spots. So which, wherever this cleft is located on which line, that's wherever this indented here will be a note C. Um, so you might not be full and, and fast in reading this cleft and trust me, it took me a while to get used to this too. But now that you know that this point is C, when you see this clef, it will be easier. It will be easy for you to find where the C is. So let's go over tenor and alto clef, um, two most used C clefs besides soprano, mezzo soprano, and baritone, which you can um, see it in the textbook. So let's start from alto clef. Either way. This is alto. And this is tenor. So as I mentioned, here at this line, for alto clef, will be a C. So this is how you would Right an octave, C, E, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, B, C. Same thing applies for tenor. We know that here, this middle point will be a C. So C, E, E, F, G, A, B, C, or C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C.